I'll clear my comms for you. Hey bro, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to another body cam video. <laughs> As you can see, we're playing on a new map because we've got a new patch. So I'm going to read through some of the latest patch notes while I roll through some footage and you guys can listen along if you don't want to read them yourself. Going over to the Steam patch notes page, it says we have abandoned hospital. Posted on June 19th, which is today, we've got a new map, performance optimization, a kick system, and bug fixes. So we'll go through the fixes first. We have foliage settings. Disable the ability to hide foliage in low mode. So what people were often doing was setting their textures um, on the foliage setting to low, and then playing tumblewood, and basically it'd reveal um, enemy positions very easily, because there was no grass in the way. Quick play. The option won't send players to the training range map anymore. That's going to be a good one. Rank reset. They fixed the rank reset bug. And performance improvement. It might not work for everybody, but for the majority of players, it depends on your PC specs. Make sure to set DirectX version to 12 if you previously downgraded to 11 so the changes can apply. So some of the changes that they made were in grain correction. Looks like your settings, graphics settings grain. You can now turn off grain if you are experiencing bugs with it. White line artifact correction. Remove some white artifact happening on some people's devices. I'm not too sure what that is, but I did notice on the Russian building, there was some white light sparkling on the inside of the building. That might be it, but unsure until I test it. And in the server list, addition of a new section with games that have just started and that I recommend joining. That's good. That's pretty good. And the bomb theft bug fixes the bug where stealing the bomb from an ally's hand would create issues. I never experienced that one, but it's good that they've changed it. Onto the maps, we've got a new map, Abandoned Hospital. An abandoned hospital with a long corridor of empty life. Be careful, you, you may not be the only one alone. Please note, you may experience FPS drops upon starting up when the game loads for the first time. So, now we all know. And map fix. Correction of shadows on Tumblewood. Bans. Reported cheaters have been banned. If you encounter any cheaters in one of your games, make sure to report them in the hashtag cheater report. I'm guessing that's on their um, Discord. You have to link proof with their Steam profile, otherwise they can't do anything about it. And the leaderboards have been cleaned. People abusing points have been removed. Abusing points, that may be in um, the private lobby. Some people were caught boosting and stuff like that but it looks like they've changed that now and down to the important features steam profile view you are now able to check every player's steam account during the game that's pretty cool just press escape go to the lobby menu and you'll have a profile button and they've brought back the kick system but it looks like they've done some tweaks to it we re-implemented a new version of the kick system a 10 second vote will now be started to gather a player's choice whether or not a player should be kicked or not to start the vote press escape go to lobby menu and then you'll have the kick button they've also added below that if kicked the player will not be able to join or rejoin the server before the current ongoing game is finished that's pretty good because often people would get booted then they'd join straight back in kind of defeats the purpose and that looks like it's it for the patch notes that were recently posted it'll be interesting to see what they fix next you guys have a good day